we're one of the first uh, dedicated pituitary centers in Southern California. We have a very rich history of treating patients with pituitary tumors going back almost four decades now uh, with my predecessor, Dr. Marty Weiss. We treated over 5,000 patients with pituitary tumors here over the last several decades. A lot of the techniques in surgery for pituitary tumors were developed here at USC. We treat patients with pituitary tumors, and that can be anything from non-functioning pituitary tumors to functional pituitary tumors. The main things that we see in that regard are acromegaly and Cushing's disease. Acromegaly is a disease where the pituitary has a tumor that secretes too much growth hormone, and that affects the entire body. You can have excess growth of tissues, you can have excess growth of all of your organs, and patients suffer for often a very long time before they finally get diagnosed. About uh, five and a half years ago, uh, it was discovered that I had a pituitary tumor. And uh, we tried to treat it with uh, medicine for about the first you know, year or so, and uh, the tumor just wouldn't respond. Dr. Zada did both surgeries. I felt as though that action saved my life. We do have a collaborative approach toward patients, and we, in fact, schedule our clinics so that the neurosurgeon and the endocrinologist can see the patients at the exact same time. I think this provides better communication among our team. I think it provides better communication to the patient directly so that the plan is formulated with all of the aspects of the care. In and of itself, there's a process of education here. So we're always discussing the cases with people um, that are there. And the patients really do benefit from this because when we have discussions that are for the benefit of students, we're also trying to direct this to the patient. But we try to make a point of really having a discussion about the patient's condition in front of them as far as is reasonable so that they can actually feel engaged and ask questions and actually spark their interest in their own condition when they're actually part of the team. So I think that's facilitated in, in an institution like this in which you have so many levels um, of education and learners. I have had headaches for years and I've noticed over the last couple years they were getting worse. Um, over the last few months uh, they were getting really bad and I, I just thought they were sinus headaches. And he said, I just looked at your MRI and you have a large mass. You know, being a single mom, this was my biggest fear that something would happen to me and my baby would be left, you know. And I just remember Dr. Zada just saying, I want you to know you don't have cancer and you're gonna be okay. And I literally jumped off the table, grabbed him and just said, thank you. Like, that was all I wanted to hear. I think our experience is one thing that sets us apart. Uh, we've treated so many patients that we've seen uh, really so many different things that can happen in this part of the brain. I think uh, the multidisciplinary approach in which we approach patients and treat patients uh, that include myself as a surgeon and Dr. Carmichael as an endocrinologist and all our other team members uh, is really one of the, the, the strongest uh, points that we have uh, with, with this center. Then I think um, the research that we're doing is really pushing the envelope in treating uh, patients, both developing new surgical procedures to treat patients and also uh, different ways of medical treatment for these patients. We have a lot of clinical trials or prospective clinical trials in the treatment of patients with pituitary tumors. And many of these are novel drugs that are used for the treatment of Cushing's disease, drugs for, used for the treatment of acromegaly. And in addition to that, we also have clinical trials for hormone replacement in patients who have hypopituitarism. I think this is one of the best parts about going to a specialized center, is that we have the ability to offer these cutting edge therapies in a clinical sense, directly to the patients, and patients get that benefit of some therapies that aren't available to them at other centers. The consortium that we're leading where we can study a variety of these tumors from across the nation and find out what mutations or molecular differences are in the tumors are going to pave the way for future precision therapies in patients with pituitary tumors. I'm really kind of proud to be part of the, the team here that works so closely with the neurologists and the neurosurgeons because from all the places that I've been, I haven't seen a more collegial group of people. You know, if I have a question or if they have a question, they text me, they call me, I do the same. 
and we've had an opportunity to really collaborate well, you know, and I think that's really important when you're dealing with them in a multidisciplinary uh, environment like this. I mean, there's lots of institutions with really fine physicians and, and, and excellent staff, but how they interact really is the next level, and that, that I think allows our patients to see that we're um, not going to be operating in our own silos or on bubbles. We're actually going to collaborate with each other. I think USC does a really good job of that. The whole staff has been incredible. To Johnny the custodian in my room, I mean, I can't say enough about Dr. Zad and Dr. Carmichael. They were amazing. Without question, I, I, how great it is to feel that your life has been saved. And how could you not support that?